Yo guys, what's up? Hope you're all doing well. Um, so today's topic I'm going to be talking about is getting nicknames in jujitsu. And um, this is a topic that's dear to my heart because I've given out a lot of nicknames since I've become an instructor. <laughs> so uh, I, I know I can give a lot of good insight on this topic. Um, so, you know, getting a nickname in jujitsu. Um, as an instructor, we do nicknames for a few different reasons. One um, is to help us remember names, especially if we have a lot of students with the same names. I know I've been to schools, academies where, you know, there was like 100 people named Jeff or Daniel, or, you know, something like that, that kind of situation where there's like five or six people with the same name. So um, to make it easier, we give, we'll give people nicknames and that will help us um, just dis distinguish between the, per the people, um, which is really important, you know, when you're pairing someone and you're like, hey, go with Daniel, and there's five people named Daniel, you know, that, that makes it really hard to just, you know, flow in that class, you know, to pair people up and keep everything moving, so um, uh, that's a really big reason. I know I give nicknames to people, and usually it's very simple. It'll be like, you know, say there's a big person, he'll be big, whatever the name is, or if there's a small one, he'll be little, whatever the name is, so we try to keep it simple. And um, usually outside of that, usually a nickname comes from the student doing something. And it could be like a part of their personality or it could be like, you know, maybe they have like a weird habit or something. So um, that's how a lot of times people will get nicknames in jujitsu. I know I had a nickname. I had a few nicknames kind of coming up, um, you know, at lower belts, but they didn't really stick too well. Um, one was like Golfinho. Dolphinio, which is like dolphin. I don't know how I got that nickname. I guess because I was kind of crazy as a blue belt. And then um, I had another nickname, Cofrinho, which is like, um, it could be like piggy bank, or it could also mean like the ass crack. Because I used to, I guess just my body type, I looked like a piggy bank or something. And I, you know, back in the day, I used to rock my, my pants kind of low, you know, um, just to be cool, so, you know, my pants will always fall down, so I think that's a big one. <laughs> so I had two nicknames, um, and, you know, with nicknames, the harder you fight them, the longer they're going to stick. So with my nicknames, I, I, didn't, I never really, like, addressed them or really, like, went by them, or, but, um, but I also didn't, like, I didn't like, uh, I didn't, didn't get upset that I got the nicknames. I just kind of, oh, someone would say, you know, hey, what's up, Cofinho, or something. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, whatever, cool. And um, eventually, like, you know, the nicknames kind of fade away or they get passed on to someone else. And um, so if you get a nickname that you hate, don't don't fight it. Just kind of embrace it. And then eventually, like, if it doesn't stick, it'll disappear. Um, but it's usually the nicknames that are the ones that people fight really hard and you know they really hate and they like ah you see them getting getting upset with the nickname usually that's going to stick forever and um in jiu-jitsu we have these these nicknames that just stay they just man they kind of replace your whole name and um you see it with guys like uh Jacare, you see it with guys like Cobrinha um there's so many there's so many guys like this that you, you don't even remember their real name it's like man they have a real name and um, eventually the nickname just becomes becomes who they are, and that's how everyone knows them, you know. Um, and again, usually, you know, the, the person, they fought those nicknames really hard, and, you know, they didn't like them, and that's why it's, it's, it stuck so long. It just stays so long because they hated it. Hated it. Um, so if you have a nickname that you don't really like, just don't fight it, embrace it, and, you know, hopefully it will go away, like my case. But uh, if you do find it, it, it's probably going to stick forever. So be, be careful of that. Um, one thing I do want to say is that you should never ask for nicknames. And I've seen people try to do this and people ask me for nicknames. But that's kind of, that's not how the process works. Usually, like I'm observing the student and, you know, maybe they have a habit or maybe they kind of look like someone else or they do something and, you know, 
the inspiration comes to me and, and then I give the person the nickname. And um, that's how it usually works. But if someone tries to force it, it's not going to work. And I remember uh, an old story of a student wanting to get a, a Brazil. He wanted to get a Brazilian nickname so bad. He wanted to be cool. You know, this is a few years ago. Um, so he went to the instructor and he's like, man, you know, I really want a nickname. You know, give me anything. I, I just I want to be cool. You know, he was just telling the instructor that he wanted the nickname so bad. And so the instructor, you know, was going to mess with him. So he gave him like a really terrible one. I think it was like Boyola, which is not a positive uh, nickname to have. But they didn't let the guy know what what it meant, um, what Boyola meant. So the guy was like, yeah, hey, what's up, man? I'm Boyola. So he would go around introducing himself. And then anyone that knew Portuguese or uh, that knew what that word meant, they would like, will just die laughing um, because it's kind of derogatory. So I'm not going to say it on here. Um, but that's just an example of what can happen if you try to force a nickname to happen. It's just, don't force it guys. If it, if a nickname hits you or, you know, just gets attached to you man, you can't get it off sometimes. Um, so, um, that's about it for nicknames guys. Um, I, I prefer not having a nickname just because I, I like going by my own name. I don't want to be called out of my name. Um, so if someone ever tries to give me, give me a nickname, sometimes they, people still try to give me a nickname. I just don't even worry about it. And I just, you know, just kind of let it kind of let it fall off. Eventually, eventually they're going to forget about it, but it's just when you guys fight those nicknames, that's when it stays. Okay. Um, so guys, I'm going to be starting more podcasts soon. Um, I think, I think for me, it's like a really cool, like, outlet to just interact with you guys you know especially if you're like say you're at work or you know you're on the train or you're driving it's it's really easy to just take in this, the audio format um, I know for me like I like listening to podcasts when I'm like working or I'm doing something where I can't like take my attention off of what I'm doing but um, I just like being able to you know still learn and still like take in information um uh, through the audio, so I, I really think this is a really good format for for me, and hopefully you guys like it. So I'm gonna try to put this up on iTunes. So please, guys, please go and uh, check it out. Um, I'm gonna try and do like more content like this as well, just to keep pushing you know my name out there and keep uh, letting people know who I am. So um, again, please uh, check it out on iTunes. Uh, of course, check me out on Facebook, check me out on Instagram, check me out on uh, YouTube as well. And until next time, guys, peace out and ciao.